<clears throat> Good evening. Looks like we're missing a few still. It does look that way. We're still, I think, a minute early. I think we're just waiting for Mr. Eckhoff because I believe Mr. St. Dennis is not able to make this part of the meeting. Very good. And Mr. Eckhoff did uh, notify me. Um, he might have some challenges getting connected, but plans to be here. Okay. Um, so based off of that communication, do you think we should give him a minute or? <clears throat> um, I think while you're doing maybe the preamble, hopefully he shows up. Okay. Him. Well, let's get started with that then, shall we? Good evening. Um, I am, uh, my name is Sarah Lawrence. I am the chair of the Mount Vernon uh, Village School School Board. And I am going to call this meeting to order at 5.02. Um, today, we are conducting a meeting of the uh, Mount Vernon school board. But before we get started, I'll go ahead and read through a checklist to ensure that the meeting we're holding is in, in compliance with the right to know law. Adam, do you mind sending Mr. Eckhoff the Zoom link? I just got a text message that he needs. Not that. a problem. Thank you. So let me continue with this. Um, okay, so before we get started, I'm just going to read through that checklist to ensure that the meeting that we're holding is in compliance with the right to know law. As the chairperson of the Mount Vernon School Board, I find that due to the state of emergency declared by the governor as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic and in accordance with the governor's emergency order number 12 pursuant to executive order 2020-04 and its extensions, this public body is authorized to meet electronically. Please note that there is no physical location to observe and listen contemporaneously to this meeting, which was authorized pursuant to the governor's emergency order. In accordance with the emergency order, I am confirming that number one, we are providing public access to the meeting by telephone with additional access provided by video and other electronic means. We are utilizing Zoom for this electronic meeting. All members of the, of the committee and selected staff have the ability to communicate contemporaneously in this meeting through this platform. And the public has access to contemporaneously watch and or listen to the meeting on Zoom and via phone by following the directions and links provided on our website, which is www.sau39.org. We have provided public notice of the necessary information for accessing this meeting. We are providing a mechanism for the public to alert the public body during the meeting if there are problems with access. If anyone has a problem, please email 
A. Wallace, that's A W A L L A C E, at SAU39.org. In the event that the public is unable to access the meeting, we will be adjourned and rescheduled. Please note that votes taken during this meeting shall be done by roll call vote. Finally, we will go ahead and start the meeting by taking a roll call attendance. When each member states their presence, please also state where they are. And also if anyone else is in the room with you during this meeting, which is required under the right to know law. So let's start with uh, Mr. O'Keefe. Uh, Stephen O'Keefe at home in Montford. Uh, uh, Mrs. Hinckley. I am alone in my home in Mount Vernon. And I am also alone um, in my dining room in Mount Vernon. And I think Mr. Eckhoff will be joining us shortly. So I'm sure when he does, we can ask him to join in. Just click over to our agenda for the evening. So on our consent agenda uh, this evening, we have one item, and that is the super, uh, the assistant superintendent resolution. That memo is in the packet. Um, do we have any discussion on that resolution, or um, can I have a motion to accept that consent agenda as proposed? I make a motion to accept the consent agenda as proposed. Thank you. Um, do I have a second? I'll second. Thank you. Um, so Mr. O'Keefe uh, made the motion. Mrs. Hinckley seconded. Any discussion on that? No. Let's wait for Mr. Eckhoff. Hello, Mr. Eckhoff. We see that you're just joining. Um, we just started the meeting. No worries. Um, we just took attendance. So, oh, he cannot vote. He, okay. Um, Thank you. Um, so Mr. Eckhoff, to bring you up to speed, we did just discuss the consent agenda item, but um, because you didn't hear the entirety of the discussion, um, my understanding is that you can't vote on the matter. So what I would ask the other two board members who made the motion is if you feel that, that um, we'd like to include Mr. Eckhoff, we can repeat that and ask him, does that sound okay? Okay, so Mr. O Mr. O'Keefe, who made the motion, has agreed to do that. So Mr. Eckhoff, we're just going to back up a minute so that you can be included in the vote. Um, what we're talking about is um, consent agenda, the only item on our consent agenda, um, which is the um, resolution about the assistant superintendent. So Mr. O'Keefe had made a motion to, um, to accept the consent agenda as proposed. Um, Mrs. Hinckley had seconded that. Um, I don't know, are you still willing to do that, Mr. O'Keefe? Yes, I am. Okay, Mrs. Hinckley, you still willing to second the motion? Thank you. Um, so is there any discussion on this motion now, Mr. Eckhoff, that you're up to speed? No? Is there a motion any? to fire me? I just, <laughs> There's no motion to fire you. Say hi. Yep. <laughs> Technology gets the best of us, oh Pete, don't God. worry. It's painful, it is painful. <laughs> Okay, so hearing no comments or discussions on that motion, I would um, take a vote to accept the consent agenda as uh, proposed. So let's do that by roll call, Mr. O'Keefe. O'Keefe, yes. Mrs. Hinckley? Hinckley, yes. Mr. Eckhoff? Eckhoff, yes. And Lawrence, yes, so that passes, thank you. And I believe we have a non-public session um, under RSA 91A, comma three, section two K. Um, do I have a motion to go into non-public? Mr. O'Keefe, you're making that motion? Yep, so if I could just ask our four attendees that are watching, um, please stay tuned because it's very important information that we're going to be sharing at the end of this non-public. Um, we probably will not be in non-public for very long, so I just ask for your patience. Um, and then I'll make the motion to go into non-public. Thank you, Mr. O'Keefe. Um, do I have a second? I'll second. Thank you. Um, let's do that by roll call vote. Mr. O'Keefe? O'Keefe, yes. Mrs. Hinckley? Hinckley, yes. Mr. Eckhoff? Cough, yes. 
Thank you. And Lawrence, yes. So um, Superintendent Steele, if you wouldn't mind breaking us out into a non-public session, I'd appreciate that. All right. So I think what we ought to do is, since we're in a webinar, I don't want to kick our public out. Um, so I will send the board a, well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to ask Mr. O'Keefe to send a separate Zoom link because I will have to keep this one open. Yes. Um, okay. If you could do that to the four of us, that'd be very helpful. Sorry about that. I'm going to drop out and uh, send it to everyone. Thank, Thank you. you. Great. Thanks. I'd offer to help with that, but I don't think you want me doing that. <laughs> so Pete, I think just um, check your email for that new Zoom link, because we'll need to pop over to the new Zoom. <laughs> Be ready, a couple clicks. I'll tell you when I get it. Now, do we leave this one and come back? Um, I yeah, we can. Yeah, leave I, this one. I'm going to keep it open. Um, we can leave it and then come back to it. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay, Pete, do you see the um, email from Mr. O'Keefe? I can't hear you. You're muted, Pete, so I can't hear you. I just want to make sure you make it over. Do you see the email from Stephen? I do. Hold on. Okay. I'm trying to get my screen small so I can go back. Because so I think we need to log off of this Zoom to be able to log into the other one, and then you'd log back into this one. There's, there's no address on his new email. Um, when I see the email, it just has the Zoom link on there. So if you just take the, the whole, like, copy the, um, copy the uh, title. Yeah, I'm, do, I'm doing that. Um, Adam just sent it as well. So if you just copy that, you should be able to copy that and hit that and paste it and head yourself in there. Join new meeting. You will have to leave a meeting to join the new meeting. Right. So click OK, and then we'll come back to this one.
Okay, welcome back. We um, are officially out of our non-public session. Thank you. Um, hang on one moment. So what, um, what we're looking for as our first order of business out of non-public is a motion to ratify the proposed tuition agreement between the Mount Vernon School District and the Amherst School District, um, and to approve the wording for the warrant article. Do I have someone who would like to make that motion? Mr. O'Keefe, you're muted. Thank you, first day on Zoom. Um, I would like to uh, make a motion to accept uh, the negotiated uh, Amherst Middle School tuition agreement between the Mount Vernon School Board and the Amherst School Board uh, and move that to the ballot for our community to uh, vote and uh, provide their overwhelming uh, feedback one way or the other and adopt the language to cover uh, the warrant article to show shall the school district approve a five-year tuition agreement with the Amherst School District to allow for the continued education of Mount Vernon students at the Amherst Middle School beginning on July 1st, 2021, in accordance with the proposed tuition agreement on file with the school district clerk. Thank you. Do I have a second for that motion? I will second the motion. Thank you, Mrs. Hinckley. Uh, is there any discussion? Okay, seeing none, let's take a roll call vote. Mr. O'Keefe. O'Keefe, yes. Mrs. Hinckley. Hinkley, yes. Mr. Eckhoff? Eckhoff, yes. And Lawrence, yes. So that passes, thank you. Um, that um, the Amherst School Board is also uh, reviewing the, the same agreement at their meeting. And um, if, they, uh, if they also ratify it and accept it, then the document will become public and will be available for, uh, for public review. So I believe that could be as early as tomorrow. Thank you. Um, I, Mr. O'Keefe? Should we just take uh, three minutes to explain to the members of the public that are in attendance the, uh, the agreement and some of the highlights, or should we defer that into another conversation? I believe we can do that. that is that correct, Superintendent Steele? Absolutely. Awesome. Mr. O'Keefe, would you like to take that because you're great at doing the summarizing? Sure. Um, so the Malvern and School Board uh, had uh, multiple meetings over the course of September, October, and November um, to rethink and redo our tuition agreement with the Amherst School District and specifically our seventh and eighth grade students that we send over to the Amherst Middle School. Uh, there were a couple of things that uh, were front of mind for us in terms of a concern that we wanted to make sure that we addressed inside the agreement. First and foremost, was to create more structure and more consistency with regards to the tuition that we pay over to the Amherst school system. Uh, we successfully negotiated a flat rate that's gonna be based on the average two year cost per pupil calculation on an October 1st deadline. That calculation is formulated by the SEU administration staff sent up to the state of New Hampshire and documented. Uh, we will now actually be subject to, upon approval of our tax base, uh, to actually paying the two-year average of that tuition um, or that cost per pupil calculation as a form of our tuition to send over. We also successfully renegotiated the way our paraprofessionals uh, were actually billed back to our community. And we actually bundled that into the actual cost of, uh, the, the, of doing the educational services to our community uh, on the average cost per pupil calculation. And so no more do we have to worry about an added five or six or seven different paraprofessionals uh, being uh, thrown back onto the Malvern and tax base. It's now just gonna be included in the average cost that's reported on that October 1st deadline. Uh, third, we actually created a five-year expiration date of this particular contract with an option to renew uh, by the Malvern and School Board at that time. Uh, we had some concerns with regards to the escalating costs associated with the building project that the Amherst community was looking at. And we wanted to understand or better understand the impacts to our community. And so we wanted to create a strategy where our future board would have the opportunity to renegotiate uh, our costs uh, capital costs in terms of how they get contributed to that particular project, uh, being that uh, that could be a rather significant uh, burden on our tax base. Uh, we also added in four qualitative uh, concerns that uh, uh, the Malvern School Board felt should be added to just create more consistency with regards to the experience 
uh, of our Mount Vernon kids. First and foremost, we wanted to make sure that the Amherst School District provided a one-to-one -one check in uh, with our students that we sent over in terms of how that transition's going. Uh, and we wanted that one-to-one -one check in reported back to our Mount Vernon School Board at our November meeting each and every single year. And we wanted to make sure that it was documented and reported back. Uh, second, we also wanted to create some synergy uh, between our sixth grade educational experience and Amherst's sixth grade educational experience by mandating a, mandating a couple of things. Uh, first, we wanted to mandate at least two curriculum uh, assignments uh, and, and projects uh, and have those cohesively coordinated between our two districts and integrate both uh, student populations into those, those lesson plans, whether it be by Zoom, which we've become very accustomed to and familiar with, or uh, in person uh, at some point should it uh, be, be available. We just felt that it was a great way to sort of slowly integrate our two sixth grade base uh, and to make that seventh grade experience a, a lot more uh, efficient and effective for our kids. We also wanted to make sure that our sixth grade teachers were involved in professional development. And so we could make sure that our curriculum is still on the same exact pace as our sixth grade counterparts in, in Amherst, just making sure that our two sixth grade educators or if there should be more or less at a future point down the road or on the same page there and mandating that those uh, guys be actually um, included in those in those projects. And then lastly, we also wanted to make sure that um, uh, I'm throwing a, a brain freeze here, Sarah, I'm missing one here, the four qualitatives. Um, oh, testing, thank you. So from a testing standpoint, we wanted to make sure that was reported back to the town of Mount Vernon School Board, uh, the results of testing uh, for our seventh and eighth grade students on a yearly basis. So we can make sure that there are areas that we need to refocus on uh, creating uh, you know, content consistency, uh, making sure that there's no gaps that are identified in the seventh and eighth grade years that need to be addressed in, in the Mount Vernon Village School. So that contract uh, is going to go for a period of five years. And as I said earlier, a five-year option to renew if things are going extremely well or an opportunity for the school board at that time to renegotiate the agreement. We do believe that this is in the best interest of our community, uh, both from a financial standpoint and a qualitative standpoint, and we hope uh, we can gain the community support. Thank you very much for the summary. Um, we do have public time scheduled. Um, so this is a wonderful segue. If anyone has any, um, you know, any questions, comments, anything that they'd like to, to bring up at this time, we can go ahead and open up uh, public time now if you are so inclined. So let's take a look and see. I see we have a few people in attendance here with us on Zoom. Uh, but I don't... Madam Chairwoman, there's one more thing that I wanted to mention. And with yes, regards please. to the two-year average, there is a cap. And the cap to that increase in tuition that we negotiated is 5.6%. Uh, just again, creating more consistency on the upside uh, to make sure that our tax base is protected uh, from uh, a significant increase in any particular year. Absolutely. And the one piece that I think is, is really important to understand as a taxpayer is that this, um, this negotiated um, contract will help to provide us with a little bit more visibility um, and stability when it comes to budgeting. So it um, using the two-year average gives us that ability to um, you know, to know sort of what's coming down the pipeline rather than to have to guess every year and have this, you know, uh, potentially this major catch up at the end of the year, which we've, which we've struggled with, um, you know, with the, with the past agreement. So uh, we believe that, you know, reformulating things this way with our colleagues down in Amherst uh, gives both towns the benefit of greater stability uh, in knowing, you know, what, what those costs are that are associated with our students being educated uh, at, um, at the uh, at the Amherst Middle School. So I'm just not seeing any public comment at this time. Um, please know that there uh, your board members are available to you if you do have any uh, any questions, comments, or concerns. Um, you can certainly find our contact information on the uh, SAU website. So if you uh, if anything comes to mind and you want to reach out and connect with us, we're available there. Um, you know, certainly if you uh, if you post something on um, Mount Vernon Chatter in the Facebook forum, I can also try and direct you to the to the right people. So uh, please know that we're available for you um, and that that document, uh, if it is duly ratified, will be available publicly tomorrow, I believe. And I don't see that we have anything else on our agenda this evening. We do have um, an SAU board meeting that is scheduled to start at six o'clock. 
Um, there is a public hearing there. So if you are watching this and you wanted to, you know, pop over and take take part in that meeting as well, we certainly encourage your participation and we encourage you to do that. Um, there's lots of things that are slated for um, for discussion this evening. Um, there's never been a better time to, you know, to be involved with your local school boards and uh, and we look forward to seeing you there. So seeing that there's nothing else on the agenda, I would accept a motion to adjourn our meeting and I thank everyone for their participation. You're muted. Make a motion to adjourn. Thank Actually, you, we don't need to make a motion, but uh, I agree we should adjourn. Awesome. Second? <clears throat> Mrs. Hinckley seconds. And Pete seconds too. We've got a million seconds. Thank you. Um, so let's take a roll call vote on that. Mr. O'Keefe? O'Keefe, yes. Mrs. Hinckley? Hinckley, yes. Mr. Eckhoff? And uh, Lauren says yes. So thank you very much for your time. And hopefully we'll see you at the SVU board meeting. Thank you. Thank you.